Yo, YouTube, what's going on? And welcome back to MLB The Show 21. Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys how to get the uh, Season 3 Team Affinities done as fast as possible. It just came out today, about you know 15 minutes ago or so. I'm going to show you my progress already. I'm going to show you how I did it and what you should be doing to get it done as fast as possible. So let's uh, jump right into it real quick. Go over here to Team Affinity. Well, as you can see, I'm 55% on NL Central, 55% on NL West already. So this literally just dropped. Let me show you how I did it and what you need to do to complete these as fast as possible. You should get it done in a day, two days most. Uh, you should have it all the way done. Get you them cards, get you them diamonds. So let's go into it. I'm going to start with NL West here just because that's where I started. No reason for it. Just it's where I started. If you want a certain player fast as possible, then start there. That's up to you. Uh, very first thing we're going to do is exchanges. You want to come down to exchanges, and you want to do all these exchanges, because that right there is going to get you 45 points. 45 team affinity points for doing these exchanges. Now, the best way to do these exchanges, the way I do them, is I buy 71s and 72s. Now, you, it's the most cost-effective way. It's going to cost you maybe around 5,000 stubs or so to do each uh, section, each, uh, <clears throat> each exchange. Not each one of these, but each, like, the NL West exchange will cost you around 5,000 stubs. The NL East will cost you around 5,000 stubs. So about 5,000 per is what you're going to end up paying for it. Um, the best way to do it, like I said, 71s and 72s. <clears throat> Excuse me. I buy the 71s. I make sure I buy them between 25 and 29 stubs. And the 72s, I try to buy between 25 and 34 stubs. Right now, the market's a little high on them because everyone's doing this. So I would suggest starting with one instead of trying to buy all of them all at one time. I'll show you how I do it and how to run through it. But instead of trying to buy every single one for the entire exchanges all the way across the board, I would start with one section, knock that out completely, go all the way to 100 on it, finish it, then move on to the next one. Give the market a chance to come down from all these guys trying to buy these as quick as possible because right now the prices on them are in the 50s and 60s because everyone's trying to get it done as quick as possible. Don't pay that much for them. Just wait. You know, just finish one at a time. But first, we do these exchanges. That gets us 45 points, right? Then we do the collections, the flashbacks, and legends. Now, this includes, like, monthlies. If you've been doing your monthlies and all that, you should have all these collected already. You shouldn't have to buy any of these. If you've played the game, you should have all these. Not all of these, but you should have enough to... Excuse me. You should have enough to turn in for the collection. I didn't have to buy anybody. So, if you've been playing, you should have them. If you haven't been playing and you don't have these, I wouldn't recommend going through and buying a bunch of them. If you're missing, like, one or two, yeah, sure, go ahead and buy the cheap ones if you don't have any of the cheap ones. You know, these prospects go really fucking cheap, so if you don't have the prospects yet, get them. Stuff like that. But uh, this is going to get you an extra 10 points. Like I said, you should have all these. You shouldn't have to do anything besides just collect them. So, turn them in. That gets you another 10 points, which is going to get you to 55. The very next thing I want you would do is moments. I haven't got to that point yet because I want to jump on this video as soon as possible for you guys. But you complete all these moments, it's going to get you an extra 20, and that's going to put you at 75, right? From there, you only need 25 more points to finish off this division. And the way to do that, excuse me, sorry. The way to do that, the way that I'm going to do it, and the way I think you should do it. It's going to be, probably be the fastest way to do it, is you're going to complete these missions. You need 100 plate appearances. You need uh, tally bases with all-star flashbacks and legends that do not include the new all-star flashback 2021 all-star series. So what you're working on right now doesn't include any of those cards. Then you need strikeouts with those players as well. And I'm not going to worry about all the new guys and all that I'm just going to focus on this mission, this mission, and this mission. And I'm going to get done as fast as possible playing against the computer. And I'm going to show you how we do that. We set up an entire squad for it. So it should take you, oh, maybe two to three games playing against the computer on Rookie to get this done. Uh, you might get it done in one game, to be honest with you. Depends on how much you smack the ball. But I'll show you how I set up the squad and all that. But the very first thing I'm going to do is show you what I do on the market to get the exchanges. But... Like I said, we're at 55% done on this already. That's just from doing the exchanges and turning that in and doing the collections. I haven't touched the moments yet and haven't done the missions. <clears throat> but altogether, 
you should be able to complete each division. A division should take you maybe half an hour to 45 minutes, maybe an hour at most to complete. So this is how you're going to knock them out fast. All right, I'm going to go into the market and show you what I do and how I do it to collect for the exchanges. All right, we're going to go to filter. We're going to set our min overall to 71. And our max overall to 72. Like I said, the prices are high right now, so I would do this for one division. And then finish out that division, do the moments, and do all the missions and shit that you need to get done. And then move on to the next one, give the market some time to come back. We're also going to come down here to live and hit live. And then we're going to go. So we, we're working on the NL East, or the NL West, right? So these are set up per division if you go through the teams. So it starts off with the uh, free agents here. If you hit left on your D-pad, it's going to take you into the NL West, which is Giants, Padres, Dodgers, Rockies, and Diamondbacks. Every five teams, that's a division. Then we'll go to the Central, NL Central Hill, Cardinals, Pirates, Brewers, Reds, Cubs. Then it goes to the East. So you see what I'm saying? It goes all the way through them. So come here, go to Free Agents, go to Giants, hit Filter. And uh, here are all the 71s and 72s that you can get. <clears throat> Oh, these are actually going. You can buy these ones here really cheap right now. Uh, but like I said you want to buy 71s between 25 and 29 stubs. You want to buy 72s between 25 and 34 stubs. So right now you can jump on all these and get them done. And the way I like to do it is I come in here and I'll put in buy orders. And I'll put in five at a time. So I'm going to go through this. Like I already have eight of them here. I've already turned in and I bought too many. But you can always resell them later so I wouldn't worry about it. But I'll go in here and I'll put in. See this guy's going for 29. He's a 72. So I know I need him under 34 for a good price on him. So I'm going to put in a buy order at 29 or 30 right now. And I'm going to do five of them real quick. I'm going to back out. I'm going to go down the next guy. I'm going to put five orders in for him. Five orders in for him. All the way down the list. Then I go to filter. And I go to the next team. Then I'll put five orders for him, five for him, and five for him. And I go back to filter. Go to the next team. And I do this all the way through the five teams for each section, right? So I'll do this, go down to this list. And then I'll stop at the Diamondbacks. I go down this list. And once I put in five orders this, for every one of these guys, your orders are going to be continuously going. So you're going to be buying and buying and buying as you're doing this. So by the time you get through this entire list, all the way to the Diamondbacks here, you would just go right back to the Giants and put in five more orders. Go down the list and go back through. If you go through that list, put in five orders at a time, all the way through, uh, twice, you're going to get the majority of it done. You might have to buy maybe 15 more cards at that point in time to finish it completely, the entire exchanges. So that's why I like to do it. It gets it done nice and quick. It takes me maybe 10, 15 minutes to put all these orders in, and then... After that 10-15 minutes, I go to my exchanges and the Team Affinity, and I start putting them in there. And then whatever I end up with left extra, I'll come back on here, and I might do it for another 2-3 minutes, put in some orders, and then I'm done. It's really that simple, that easy. 15 minutes, like I said, you want to buy the 71s between 25 and 29, and the 72s between 25 and 35. Alright, the very next thing you want to do is just set up our squad. To do these missions, to grind them out as fast as possible. Like I said, you might have to play two games uh, against the CPU to get it done. And just cycle all the way through it. Once you get all the way through one of them, like you get the tally of your bases. You had to hit 20 bases or something like that. You had to get 15 strikeouts. You uh, should quit out and go back into it even if you don't have 100 plate appearances that game. Or nowhere close to it. Because if you can get those done as quick as possible... They're going to be repeatable, so you can keep on doing them and doing them and doing them. You might not even have to get the 100 plate appearances. That's the way to do this on Rookie. CPU, play the Orioles. Nice, easy team. Knock home runs. You're done. But we'll go into this here. Menu squad. And we have our main squad, of course, right here. You want to make sure you create a squad. Or use your grind squad, your monthly squad, whatever it is you want to do. Create a new squad if you don't have it yet. And this is going to be our grind squad for the uh, Team Affinity. And we're going to set up every one of these players, every one of these positions with uh, whatever division you're doing. Like right now, we're working on the NL West. 
So use the NL West people, and the easiest way to do this is you go to the position you want that you need to replace, right? So like if we go to catcher here, click on the catcher, which I don't know if I have any more catchers, but you come down here, you hit filter, you come down here, and you just pick legends or flashbacks, either or, and then the teams. We want the NL West team, so the Giants, Padres, Dodgers, Rockies, Diamondbacks, right? So we'll just look at the Giants here, see if I have anybody. And we hit back, see if we got anybody. Sometimes it messes up and it takes a minute to actually show, so it helps if you back out and go back into it, just in case. If we have somebody for that position, like here we go. We got somebody right here on the Padres that'll play uh, second base. So we'd throw him in there. We already have Jackie, so Jackie does that for me already. But that's how I would go through. Pick each position that you have a player for and put them on there. Now, if you don't have a player for a certain position and you don't have anybody that can work for that, and you can do, like I said, you can do flashbacks or legends or all-star stuff and matter. You should have a, somebody for each position. But if you do not, then just find somebody in a different position and just throw them in that position, play them out of position. Because so it doesn't matter. You don't need to beat the CPU. You just need the guy to get to the plate and hit a home run or hit a ball, extra base, get a base, get a hit. That's all you need. So set up a squad, get it knocked out. Shouldn't take long. Like I said, uh, two games at most, three games at most. You know, uh, If you look at your missions here, what we have to do. Plate appearance is 100. We get 10 points for. We only need 25 points at this point in time. you got to remember that. So after we do the moments, we only need 25 more points to finish off each division. 100. We get 10 points for 100 plate appearances. We get 5 points for 20 total bases. We get 5 points for 15 strikeouts. I forgot to show you how to get the pitchers, but you do the pitchers the same way. You go over to your rotation in the squad. I'll go back and show you that. But this is the easiest way to do it, and I would recommend... Like, if you remember how many bases you hit uh, when you're playing the game. So if you hit tally 20 bases, I would go ahead and if you get the 20 bases done, I would try to get your strikeouts, your 15 strikeouts, and before I leave the game. And once I got these two done, I just, I'll just i leave the game and I'll collect those points right here. Right there, you get the 10 points. You can do this in one game. You can tally 20 bases and you can get 15 strikeouts in one game playing rookie easily. Play one game, get those two knocked out. As soon as you've got them, leave the game, go back into the game, and do it again. And by the second time through, you're probably going to get close to the 100 plate appearances by then. The second time you go through these these two uh, missions right here, uh, you're going to have 20 points. So at that point in time, you can play one more if you're not close enough to the 100. But go ahead and play another one. You either knock one of these two out or get your 100 plate appearances just because you should be pretty close at that point in time on the third game. And you're done. That nice and easy, simple. And it gets you all of this crap right here. You know, all the team affinity packs, the headliners, the, the excuse me, you know, West Diamond players. It gets you everything, you know. Lots of stuff, lots of diamonds, lots of packs. Like I said, this... For each division should not take you more than an hour. And you can knock these out that quick. That's my method. That's the way I'm going to do it. Hopefully I'll have this done by tomorrow. Or maybe the day after. It depends on how much I play today. Because old lady's off work. So got to give her a little pickle tickle. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the plan. And uh, that's how I do it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. All that good stuff. And uh, we are going to be doing a pack opening pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to finish all the Team Affinity, and I'm going to finish the uh, fourth inning program, which I haven't really been working on at all. I've just been doing other shit, to be honest with you. But I'm going to finish that. I'm going to finish the Team Affinity, and I'm going to finish... Uh, we're not finished, but I'm going to play some Moonshot games. Get some uh, cards with that, and uh, we should have another Moonshot video coming out soon as well. But we're going to be doing a pack opening, and we have a ton of packs already. So, this is what I have already just sitting here waiting because I was going to do a pack opening. I'll get rid of all these uniforms and stuff like that, but all the players, we're going to do a nice video, a pack opening of it, see what we get, see what we pull. Um, by the time I'm done with all that, I should have a mega shit ton of packs to open, so if you want to tune in for that, you know, make sure 
hit the sub, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll have a video of that coming out within a week, I'd say. Probably next week. I'll have it all done, for sure. So, we'll get that done. Uh, this is, of course, <clears throat> you can play the showdown if you want, um, but there's no reason to. If you do it the way I told you, you shouldn't ever have to play a showdown if you hate showdowns. So, yeah. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like, sub if you haven't done so yet, and we will catch you guys next time. Later.